Hello friends, hope you are having a fantastic day today. So now we are going to do an awesome stack problem that is a, actually a lead code premium problem. So this is going to be really interesting, very popular question and very interesting subject. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so the lead code problem we are going to solve is called max stack. This is actually a lead code hard problem. And the thing is, because this is a lead code premium problem, uh, I took this description from another website called leadcode.ca. So thank you so much to whoever maintaining that, that website. Now we need to design a max stack class that supports these five functionalities. Now, if we see the functionality, the first three are pretty common where we are pushing an element down the stack, where we are popping an element out of the stack and where we are uh, just checking what is the top value inside the given stack. These three are the common functionality of any particular stack. And then we need to add two more methods where first one is a peak max method. Uh, and second one is the pop max method. So if we do the peak max method, we will need to know that what is the maximum element currently. And if we do pop max, then we will have to pop the maximum element that is right now inside the stack uh, outside. So let's try to see the solution for this problem. So logically, uh, let's assume that currently we have an empty stack. Okay. So we have the option to use five operations. And so let's try to first quickly push some elements inside down the stack. So if we let's push value number three and then value number five and then value number one. Okay. So now currently we push a few elements. Now, if we want to pop and let's just add one more. Now, if we want to pop, we can pop one element out as well. So if we do the pop operation, then we will, we won't have value number seven. Now we can also do a peak operation. So if we do peak operation, then we can simply check that what is the very first element. So answer of this is going to be one. Then if we do, if we want to do peak max, which means we should see that what is the current maximum element present inside the given array, which means the current maximum element present inside the given array is actually value number five, even though it is not at the top of the stack, this is the current maximum element. So this needs to be value number five. And if we have to pop max, then we need to pop the value number five out of the stack, not value number one, even though one is the very first element. So this is how we will have to design this algorithm and design data structure in order to keep these values. Now we know that completing these uh, items is very simple and very similar. No issues with this one. This is a regular stack functionality and every single language like language like Java, Python, C++, they have, they all have their own stack versions that we can simply use. The problem comes when we need to do this peak max and pop max problem, uh, operations, because the thing is, this is actually slightly complicated because of variety of reasons. Now, the very first thing that comes to our mind is to have a variable called max where we are going to store the maximum value that we have been able to identify inside the given array. And this should make our lives easier. This is the primitive logic we can think of where let's assume that we add value number one. So we need to update the value of max to value number one. Then once again, we add value number six. So we once again, because six is greater than one. So, so far the maximum element we have been able to identify is six. Then we have value number three. So three is not greater than the current maximum element, which means we don't update anything or we don't do anything. Now, after this, uh, let's say we add a, a value number eight. So once again, the maximum element needs to be eight. So, so far you must be thinking that, Hey, this seems pretty convenient. Why don't we just have one value to keep track of the maximum element? And at any given moment, I want to see that, Hey, what is the maximum element? I can just simply look at this variable and find the answer. The problem is when we do the pop operation out of this given stack, then there would be an issue because now let's say that I decide to pop this eight. So if I do, if I pop this element eight, I know that now eight is no longer the maximum element present inside the stack, but I don't know what is the other element that is the maximum element. But instead of just having one simple variable max, we actually need to have a variable, uh, uh, another stack called max where for every single entry inside the original stack, for that entry, we will have to keep track that what has been the maximum element that we have been able to identify it so far and keep updating that list depending on the how we uh, push out or pop out the elements from the given stack. 
So let's let me try to explain what I mean. The idea is let's assume that for the max we have to worry about two operations. First one is the uh, peak max where we are simply watching that what is the max element that is currently present and second one is the pop max where we are popping the maximum element out at the current position inside the given array. So we have created our own max stack array. Uh, sorry max stack so this is our max stack and this is our regular stack okay now let's assume that i wanted to enter value number one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add value number one currently this max stack is also empty so so far the maximum element at this position i have been able to find is also one so i'm going to store value, no value number one over here once again i identified value number six so because value number six is greater than one I'm just going to put six as normal value over here, but over here, because say value number six is greater than value number one. So I'm going to say that up until this point of the stack, the maximum value I have been, I have been able to identify is six that I have presented over here. And some reason, if I decide to pop this element out of the stack, then I know for sure that this element also needs to be popped out. And then the maximum element at this position will be corresponding to the maximum element at this position. That is value number one. So which is pretty convenient for us. Now let's try to add one more element. Let's say three. Now, once again, even though we added value number three over here, so far the maximum value we have been able to identify up until this point is once again six so we are once again going to mark value number six over here and then once again let's say we add value number eight so once again we are going to add value number eight over here because that is the maximum value we have been able, uh, able to identify so so far let's repeat what we have done we did the push operation in big of one time no issues with that now at this at any given moment we can also do the peak operation uh, and the moment we do peak operation, whatever element is located at the top of the stack, we should be able to see that. So this is also going to happen in big of one time. So once again, no issues with this one. So we already took care of two variables. We can also do the pop operation easily from the stack. So pop operation can also be done in big of one time and we can do peak max as well in big of one time because this is also being hap happening or maintaining in constant time. So this also happens in constant time. So we took care of four operations in big of one time just by simply using these two different stacks. But now the important thing is that how we are going to manage the pop max operation. For that, we will also have to do the pop. So let's try to first do a couple of pop operations. If I pop element number eight out of the given stack, which means now stack does not contain eight value anymore. And I will also have to update the maximum element up until this point as well. Okay. Now at this position, let's say I decide to do pop max. So if I do pop max at, at this moment, I should not be kicking out value number three from the stack because this is not the maximum element so far. The value I should be kicking out is actually going to be the value number six. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to kick value number six out of this given list up until every single point that I have been able to iterate so far. And the moment I kick value number six out, I'm going to do a peak operation to see that if this given current maximum value, if that is greater than the current maximum value I'm left with. And if that is the case, then I will need to update the given max element to incorporate value number three as well. Because remember that in the previous state, in this state, we did not had value number uh, six as part of the given uh, sorry, value number three as part of the maximum value so far, but because we did the pop max, we kicked a value number six out. And at the same time, we will also have to pop these two elements out as well. And we would be left with value number three. Okay. So this is the whole thing that we need to do. And this is how we can solve this problem using two stacks in order to con convey this message. So this is the whole solution and using this, we can complete everything in big of one time, all five operations. So now let's quickly see the coding solution and then things will be, make much more sense. Okay. 
So now since this is a lead code premium problem and we don't have that subscription at the moment, I'm just going to explain you the solution in the notepad, but this code would work fine. And the code is also present in, in our GitHub repository. So let's understand the code. So first we are going to create a couple of integer, a uh, couple of stacks for stack and max stack. Now for the push, and for the pop and for the top, we need to the, all of these three are standard operation. The thing is pop and top are going to remain the same. The only problem is that for the push operation, we actually have to push the element in both the places, which means in the stack, we are just going to push it as a regular push a push entry. But for the max stack, we will first have to check that what has been the maximum element inside the given stack by based on the definition of this X value so far uh, using math.max function and checking that what has been the current maximum in the max stack uh, versus the current value we are trying to enter. So we are always maintaining the maximum element for any given X element inside our max stack stack. Okay. Then for the pop operation, we will have to pop the element from both the places, a uh, max stack and also from the uh, given regular stack. For the top operation, we sim simply have to check that what is the maximum element on our regular st uh, stack uh, and we can just do a peak operation. Now for the peak max operation, we will need to do the same operation, but now this time in our max stack stack rather than our regular stack. And the last one is the slightly more complicated method that is the pop max method where first of all, we are going to initialize a new stack called buffer because remember uh, the array, the value we are trying to kick out is presented somewhere in the middle in the regular stack. So meanwhile, we don't find that value. We will have to buffer that from our regular stack. So that's why we are going to push every single element uh, from our normal stack to the buffer stack until we until we find the top element to reach to the max. And then we will simply pop that element out from the regular stack. At the same time, we are also going to pop that element out from our uh, max stack as well. And then in the end, in the inside the buffer, we are also going to push all of those elements into our regular st uh, stack using the elements that we just stored inside our buffer step temporarily. So that's why this pop max method is slightly complicated method. And uh, you can see the coding solution present on side our uh, on our GitHub repository. So hopefully this explanation made sense to you. And uh, yeah, thank you so much.